In recent years, the Philippine defense sector has seen significant developments, especially in terms of modernizing its Navy fleet. One of the major players in the industry is Navantia, a Spanish shipbuilder that has been increasingly interested in submarine projects in the Philippines. This focus is in line with efforts by companies such as Hanwha Ocean and Naval Group, which are seeking to strengthen their positions in the region's marine defense systems market, amid Hyundai Heavy Industries HHI, dominance in the surface combatant segment. At the recent ADIS 2024 defense event in Manila, Naval News had the opportunity to interview representatives from Navantia, a company renowned for building warships and maritime systems. The main focus of our interview was the S-80 submarine, which is currently being offered to the Philippine Navy. Navantia has been actively exploring opportunities to participate in the submarine tender initiated by the Philippine government. With its extensive experience in designing and building submarines, including the advanced S-80 class, Navantia hopes to meet the needs of the Philippine Navy in enhancing its underwater capabilities. Navantia Submarines, a Spanish state-owned company with a long history in military shipbuilding, has submitted a $1.7 billion offer to the Philippine Navy to expand its submarine fleet. The S-80 submarine, specially designed by Navantia, is a product of cutting-edge technology that integrates advanced features. It is designed to perform anti-surface ship, anti-submarine missions, as well as conduct reconnaissance and surveillance operations. With a length of around 80 meters, the submarine offers the capacity to carry modern torpedoes and weapon systems, making it one of the best solutions to address maritime security challenges in the Southeast Asian region. In interviews, Navantia representatives emphasized the advantages of the submarine's design, which is not only energy efficient but also has high stealth capabilities, making it difficult to be detected by enemy radars. The S-80 submarines present a combination of technology and design that not only meets but exceeds the needs of the Philippine Navy. Coast Guard personnel and fishermen in their own waters have reinforced the argument that the Philippines must invest in strengthening its Navy's defense capabilities. The Philippine Navy's submarine procurement program has gained traction among manufacturers after France and South Korea offered diesel-electric submarine acquisition packages for the Philippines. Now, Spain's Navina has joined the proposal study for the S-80 Plus submarines. Guillermo Zamarapa, Key Account Commercial Manager for Asia of the Commercial and Business Development Division of Navanshire, said in a press briefing here that the comprehensive offer covers the delivery to the Philippines of two of its latest S-80 Isaac Peril class submarines, extensive training of the crew and staff of the Philippine Navy, and transfer of technology in submarine operation and maintenance to support the country's ambition to produce its own defense requirements. Navanshire offers a complete solution to support the Philippines' new submarine force, with a revolutionary submarine concept, ensuring real interoperability and meeting training needs and administrative tasks, the S-80 was designed and built at the Navanshire shipyard in Cartagena. The S-80 Isaac Peril class is a long-range conventional submarine equipped with an Air Independent Propulsion AIP, system that allows the submarine to stay underwater for three weeks, far longer than other submarines can stay underwater. Underwater for just a few days before rising to recharge the batteries. Navanshire claims the AIP capability has enhanced the S-80 stealth capabilities. The S-80 Isaac Peril class is 81 meters long and is capable of carrying out sea-to-surface attacks, intelligence activities, surveillance and reconnaissance, as well as anti-surface and anti-submarine warfare. This Matador country-made submarine is also capable of launching Tomahawk cruise missiles and Harpoon anti-ship missiles which are used by the US Navy for sea-to-land attacks, demonstrating the interoperability of submarines with NATO defense systems. The Isaac Peril class S-80s are also equipped with an enhanced platform control system developed by Navanshire Systemers that allows them to be operated by a limited crew, 32 people, with provisions for 8 additional personnel. 
To accommodate and maintain the S-80 submarine, complete submarine base facilities with absolute infrastructure and logistical support were built. In this offer, Navanshire will support the construction of a submarine base in Ormuk, Leyte. For the record, Leyte is a province located in the Visayas region, Philippines. Navanshire has evaluated various potential locations throughout the Philippines, and Ormuk is considered an ideal location for a future submarine base due to factors such as geographical protection against extreme weather, low seismic risk, proximity to Daniel Z. Romualde Airport in Tacloban City and convenience logistics support. Navanshire added that the deployment of submarine bases in the central Philippines, especially in late, is in line with the government's strategy to build naval assets in various locations for security and for rapid deployment to carry out their missions. Such a major step is also expected to spur rapid economic development in the city and province with the creation of thousands of direct and indirect jobs required in the operation and maintenance of the S-80 Isaac Peril class submarines. Navanshire's bid also provides for the construction and development of a state-of-the-art training site where prospective submariners will learn how to operate the new class of vessels. The involvement of the Spanish Navy not just in operations and maintenance training but also in tactical training of Filipinos, with added mentoring in administrative tasks, was deemed a major competitive advantage for Navanshire. It is also a prime benefit for the Philippines, as it can be assured that its people will be supported by the Spanish Navy, which uses the S-80s. Zamarapa said the training of the first crew would likely be conducted in Spain but succeeding training sessions will be held in the replica center that will come with the same facilities such as the simulators to prepare the crew and staff for a host of mission scenarios. Navanshire is one of three companies that have so far expressed interest in supplying submarines to the Philippines after President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. previously stated its intention to secure at least one submarine to improve the country's defense and modernize the armed forces. Apart from Navanshire, France's naval group and several South Korean companies have expressed interest in supplying the Philippines with submarines and also helping it build a submarine base. Navantia is also open to the possibility of collaboration and localization of production in the Philippines, which will provide additional economic benefits to the country. By offering training and technology transfer, Navantia wants to ensure that the Philippine Navy not only gets a modern submarine but also enhances the capacity of local human resources in the fields of submarine engineering and maintenance. The S-80 submarine offered by Navantia is one of the attractive alternatives for the Philippine Navy. With its advanced technology and potential for mutually beneficial cooperation, this submarine will not only strengthen the Philippines' defense capabilities but also contribute to the development of the domestic defense industry. As global developments in the defense sector continue, the Philippines' move to consider this option will be crucial in maintaining maritime security in this increasingly complex region.